Hello and welcome back to Guilty Craft. Now I have to do a really fast intro as I have a lot to do for today. So first of all I'm going to chuck this blank slate in here and my god it's really down here so I'm going to come over here and tell you what I need to do. So I need to show you my new hammer, show you the villager spawner, show you a few modifications you can do on the tinkers tools which I'm going to uh, link to my new hammer. I'm going to make a few wind turbines, make a sigil of the green growth, make an air sigil maybe. Uh, show my Lummy Axe, okay, because uh, this is, a, I actually made this a few eps uh, uh, episodes ago, and I never actually showed it off, so um, yeah, so this is your Lumber Axe, hit the bottom, it's like tree capitator, so you hit the bottom of a tree and it decapitates the tree completely, so anyway, show luggage, I made luggage in my Magic Power series with uh, Charlotte, it's like a, basically a uh, double chest that walks with you, so I'm going to be using that for more storage, and welcome to 1.3.0. I've updated the mod pack, which means we now have in, uh, enhanced portals. But with the update, I had to get rid of Hardcore Ender Expansion because the mod pack owner uh, changed their permissions. So now that we have a blank slate, I'm going to chuck another one in. And to get a reinforced slate, sorry, I now have a reinforced slate. So to get a reinforced slate, you chuck a blank slate in your altar. And then. Um, and then wait for it to become a reinforced slate. I don't want to stay too close to the altar because right above it, like directly above the altar, is um, there we go. Directly above the altar is my villager spawner, which you can hear. And I actually I use my golden lasso to a few villagers. Oh my god, a golem! That's good. That's good. So they actually have started to breed. And oh my god, look how many there are now. There's a few scientist people, a few purple people, and it's really loud and I hate their sounds. So let's just get far away from that as possible. I need to make a sound muffler, which I'll probably make next episode, because this episode is very, very busy. So, let's see. Um, I want to make, first of all, I want to make an air sigil, because I, uh, I saw this just before I started recording and thought, hey, I can make that. So, um... Last between last episode and this episode off camera, I actually did some off camera work and I live streamed it. And I uh, found an uh, I made a den pool last episode and I went into the nether and I got myself a ghast here and I found a fortress. There we go, air sigil, nice. Now I can also make a sigil for green growth quite easy by doing that, nice. So now I have made two sigils, which is really really cool. And they're really useful as well. So let's chuck some of this back in there. So I won't need I won't be needing any blank slates anymore. Uh I won't be doing any more blood magic this episode because I want to be um able to do wind turbines basically. And also do uh Tinker's hammers. So I'm gonna do Tinker's hammers first. But first I wanna show off well I wanna yeah, I wanna show off Sigil of Green Grove. So how much have we won our life points? Okay, we've got 16,000. That's easy. So what we do is we activate this. And this basically acts as bone mill. I'm pretty sure I can just right click. There we go. Right click on a on a crop and it will grow. But that does use up quite a bit. Oh god, I'm already on 14,000. Okay, let's turn that off. So anyway, that's that. And now we have the air sigil. Now, for this, I know this uses up quite a lot of life points. So let's just fill up my life points a bit more. There we go. Back 16,000. Air sigil. Boop. Oh yeah. Can pretty much fly. So that's why I wanted to make that. It's really cool. So the next thing I want to show you is modifications on Tinker's tools. Now I uh, made Felix's magic hammer. Now if you know the reference um, to that, then... I'll, I'll tell you anyway, it's basically a reference to Wreck-It Ralph, the Disney film, and uh, Fix-It Felix Jr. It's his hammer. I was like, I want to call it like Wreck-It Ralph, uh, but Hammer had a uh, Felix had a hammer, so I thought I'd call it F Felix's Magic Hammer. So I need to add mo uh, modifiers to this. Now, uh, one modifier which I've already used is actually Mossy... Um, mossy uh a moss ball sorry which gives it auto repair which is really easy to make it's just mossy stone nine mossy stone makes that sweet now what have i made this hammer out of because it's pink i made it out of uh 
alumite, which is five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. I did have to mine a bit more obsidian, but that's what I made it out of with obviously a paper rod, so that's all nice. Now, how to add modifiers, you come over to the tool forge, you put your hammer or whatever you choose in, put the modifier you want to add, different things add different modifiers, and there we go. So before it had Reinforce 2 because I made it out of that certain alloy, now it has modified uh, Reinforce 2 and Auto Repair. Now you can see down here I have a certain amount of modifiers. And my mining speed isn't great but my mining level is pretty good. So now um, I want to, let's say I want to add another modifier. So I put a diamond on and a block of gold, modifiers 4. Nice. Now I'm going to put a diamond on and uh, what, what does diamond actually do? Yeah, it gives it better um, durability. So let's chuck that on. And now I'm going to chuck blocks of redstone. As you can see, redstone 9 out of 50. Now this is the speed I can actually mine at. And you have to be careful not to go over the limit. Or else it will take up another modifier. And you don't want to use up another modifier. So here we go. 49.50. See, modifiers, one left. Okay. Now, I can add sort of whatever I want to this, but now I have the white mist, which is sort of my basic tool, but now I have Felix's magic hammer. Look how swanky it looks. It's pretty cool, actually. So I'm going to chuck luggage down. I'm going to put a few things in luggage, just to, like, keep them safe. Uh, I could combine the hang glider with... Um, with this uh, air sigil, so I can pick luggage up by shift right clicking. And let's just see. So if I come up in the air and activate the hang glider, perfect. That's really cool. And obviously, shift with the hang glider, I can go faster. I do want to get a jetpack, but this is just like a cheap way. Well, it's not cheap, but it's a pretty cool way of traveling. So yeah, that's that. Now, uh, the main objective of this uh, episode is to make wind turbines. Here we go. Uh, now, these will actually generate power. So, I've done a little bit of a basement down here. And I've added this sort of uh, area. And I'll show you what this is. This is going to produce power basically for us the next episode is we the next episode we can get machines and the wind turbine can power those machines so this is where the wind turbines are going to go i've made like a little um little area for them so it's pretty cool but to make wind turbines it is a bit of a lengthy process so to make a wind turbine we're going to need a metallurgic infuser so let's see what we're going to need for this so it's two furnaces, four iron, two redstone, and osmium ingots. Now, a metallurgic infuser and wind turbines are actually part of mechanism. So what am I going to need? going to need some cobble, and I'm going to need to go over to my little house, to my little smeltery building, and grab some iron. Let's grab quite a bit of iron. And some osmium. Look at that, I have plenty of osmium. Nice, let's make two furnaces and one metallurgic infuser. Fantastic. All right, so now let's quickly go to sleep. Here we go. Oh, uh, I thought I fell through the world then. All right, awesome. So now it's the morning. I'm going to go down for basement. As you can see, I've sort of moved the um, elevator to more of the middle and added this pillar just to like keep it like level. I don't even know if this is the middle. Oh god, if it's I don't think it is. That's that's going to bug me now. Oh well, anyway, this now has power and I think Yeah, so this now has power. Now, what we need to get from uh, the metallurgic infuser let me just type in wind turbine again. So we're going to need to get enriched alloy. Now enriched alloy is done by putting redstone in the left, iron in the middle, and it will make enriched alloys on the right. So let's chuck some redstone in here, like so. Chuck some iron in here. It's gonna make some loud sounds, which is fine. 
and let's see we're gonna need some gold as well so let's while that's um smelting up let's go grab some gold now this is a very full-on episode i'm sorry about that uh i'm gonna save for gold blocks and no i'm gonna need it for blood magic later on uh oh yeah i'm like super fast with that uh, how much life points have we got? 14,000. Ah, uh, not bad. And I've just realised I haven't got a crafting bench down here, so let's... Tr oh. That was extremely easy. Nice. Where can I chuck this crafting bench? Chuck it there. There we go. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have to make these. So we're going to need two of these. Nice. Now, what else are we going to need? We're going to need uh, a control circuit. Oh, control circuit, which is that. Nice. And now it's just free osmium. And obviously, some more enriched alloys. So let me just chuck a few more bits of iron in, a few more bits of redstone. Like so. And I think... Oh yeah, we need to put it in manually. So let's do this, do that, and boom, one wind turbine. Nice. Now I'm going to show you where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put it here. There we go. So cool, isn't it? Right click, we can see it's generating power. Um, how long has this episode been? It's only been 11 minutes. Nice. So I can actually make some I'm going to go, so that was mechanism, now we're going to go over to thermal expansion and make some, oh, some leadstone uh, conduits, I believe. Yeah, so it's lead, redstone, and some glass. Now, I smelled up a stack of sand before. We've got, uh, we'll grab some more redstone. There we go. And now if we grab some lead, we can actually make leadstone conduits, which is basically a um, really cheap way of transporting power around um, your base and you can upgrade these as well so how many are we gonna make um yeah there we go 48 all oh, right nice now the reason i put the uh, wind turbine up there is because i'm gonna need to pa i'm gonna need to like wire it up to my basement and i thought this was a nice little area you know like next to my nether portal and i've made room for two i could probably make room for maybe two more if i just dig that way so let's just put that there. Let's go hook up like that. Now if I go down to my basement, I should be able to hook it up. Now I won't be able to hook it up to anything just yet, I don't think. Oh, oh no, it's not hooked up. There we go. So I can hook it up like that and have it along here. Going into this? No, that's not going to work. Okay. Well, anyway, we can put that into this machine, which will give it power. And we can use this furnace as sort of like a backup generator, I guess. Because it holds its power. So that's pretty cool. And there is one more thing I do actually want to do before the end. Which is make a crescent hammer, which is basically a wrench for thermal expansion. So it's just three bits of iron and some tin. So we just need to quickly grab some tin. Like so. Where is it? Silver, tin. Nice. And there we go. Awesome. I wonder, oh, I wonder if we have enough to make a second wind turbine. That'd be pretty cool if we can make a second wind turbine in one episode. Let's see. So we're going to need more gold, which means we're going to have to get some more gold for blood magic, but that's fine. Um, so we're going to need some of these. What am I missing? Redstone? Yeah, I'm missing redstone. Oh, don't say I wasted all my redstone. Oh, no, I've got a stack. It's fine. Alright, we can make three, but we only really need two. Um, Wait for the right circuit. Come on. Control circuit. 
need one of those. And I think that's it. Second wind turbine. So these are really cheap to make and yeah they're basically the they are the basic way of making power so they will make power day and night and i'm going to run my base off a few of these as well because they're pretty cheap and they don't they don't look horrible they look all right i don't think i've got the sfax texture for them but it's fine they, they look all right they look all right uh, i think power wise i want to move on to big reactors soon so Oh god, how am I going to link this up? Like this? And then... Like that? There we go, nice. Now we will have to get some sort of um, cell to store our power, and by the time we get more machines and we need more power, we'll have to upgrade our power, which requires a big reactor. But now we've got power! We have unlimited power already, which was a big problem for us in TechIt. So, um... Yeah, these guys don't actually generate a lot of power, but I want to move on to water power again because water power was a lot of help in TechIt. And it's actually a lot of help in um, this mod pack as well. We can get jetpacks with it as well, which is kind of cool. And before we end the episode, let's um, try and breed some chocobos. So let's see, we, uh, we do have a white one. Can the white one breed? Yes, so it's a male that can breed called Blizzard. That's really cool. So let's just show your name. And what do we need to breed a white one to get a black one with? Uh, let's just see. So white and yellow. So let's go with Hope, who is a male. No, so we're going to need Liberty, which is female. I'm going to make you follow. And I'm going to want Liberty and Blizzard to get it on so let's push them to, together and boom boom come on black chocobo oh <gasps> yes oh we got a black chocobo oh my god what's the sheep doing in here all right actually let's see what the wow <laughs> oh my god we got a black chocobo nice 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 okay that was the first try as well so let's grab some gash greens we can uh we can tain it and we're getting that step, that one more step closer. What's that actually called? Okay. We're getting, oh, it's a female. But it cannot breed. Okay, so I'm going to need a few more black chocobos. So we're getting that one step closer to getting a golden chocobo. Which is really cool. Actually, let's try and get a white again. So green and blue. Alright. Green and blue. And then we can get another white. So... Green, you're female. And blue, you're male. What are you going to give me? Ah, you give me a blue one. Okay. That's not too bad. There we go. Nice. Choco Croft, it's going pretty well. It's going really well. We've almost got a golden chocobo. And I need to start riding these guys. I need to make some more saddles. Because we have enough choco feathers. And we have plenty of Geshul Greens. I'll quickly show you guys how the farm's getting along. Magical crops. I have quite a lot of essence seeds. Quite a bit of coal seeds. Again, we're going to have to go up the tiers maybe next episode. But I think next next episode we're going to get a few machines. We might improve on blood magic. You know, start making uh, maybe uh, rituals. And uh, all sorts. Uh, the villager spawner. Oh god, it's really loud. Oh my god. That's pretty good. These guys do breed over time. Uh, they actually have hearts coming off of them when they do breed. I literally just stood here for about a good hour, left the game running, and then they just bred. So I might have to do that between this episode and the next episode. Um, Alright, let's get really far in the air. Really high. What are we talking about here? 200? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. Anyway, thank you for watching Guilty Crow. Oh, actually, let's land on the cloud. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Let's go up. Let's go up. Yes, one a cloud. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, thank you for watching Guilty Craft. I'll see you next time for uh, another episode where we hopefully get a few machines. We can automate a few things. 
It'll be like the first time we've done machines in this whole series. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Ah, nice.